Right, we're leaving Ash. No, we're not. <laughs> That's in about six days' time. I have one job. <laughs> I know, I know. We're leaving Clumber Park and we're heading to Ashridge Farm, Caravan and Motone Club site in Ashwell in Hertfordshire. And uh, so it's a journey we do, I think, every year now. We do it, yeah, we used to always do it before the Peterborough show. Yeah, it's become a bit of a ritual, I think. Yeah, well, our friends that still live in that area, don't they? So. Yeah. We like to come and see them. Yeah, I like to come and see them. I like to go, there Catch goes up. the lock again. Yeah, I managed to switch the auto lock on for the doors. <laughs> when you're moving, that one. Oh, you put that on as well. There we go. All right, so we've had no mobile signal, have we all? No, so as soon as we get to the end of the road, the phones are going to be going crazy, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, so I think we'll We'll switch off before then. Yeah. Yeah. So should you get there in about two hours? Yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, it, take, it says it'll take. We'll get there at twelve, and uh, it's what time is it now? Nine forty-nine. Yeah. But we're going to stop because you can't get in till one o'clock anyway. So stop at Grantham. Okay then. All right. Catch you later. We didn't record it, but the built-in sat-nav wanted to take us via the, a B road in, into the uh, Ashwell village. Yeah, and it still wants to take us off at Junction 10 and then onto the A507, which will then be a turning to Ashwell. After the no, it's trying to do it now. 10, A507 towards I mean, the road is wide enough, it's just that that way it takes you through the village of Ashwell. Yeah. Which can be very narrow with parked cars and all that sort of thing. Yeah. So we never go that way. No, and I'm sure Mrs. Satnag used to tell us to go the, the correct way. Yeah. To go down to Junction 9. Yeah. So that's what we'll do. Yeah. So if you're coming to Asheville via the A1, going south, don't take this junction, whatever you do. It takes you through Baldock. Or, no, I think it would turn you off before After that, yards towards Asheville. It's a turning, isn't it, just down there? Yeah. A507.
No, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. Brilliant. Don't take this turning either. <laughs> I think it's got the right turn in there. Yeah, it has got the right turn in here, Station Road. What's this van's doing here? I don't know. It's going right. takes you down into the village doesn't it down quite yeah. a steep hill yeah Junction there somewhere. Yeah. If you're going across them to the right there. A car just went round the yeah. wrong way there. The what, sorry? A car went round the wrong way. Yeah, there. I, was, I almost followed it, you know. Because yeah. the paint is all Paint's worn wearing out. Off, yeah. yeah. Tree about oh, there. Trees. Hidden in the trees. Hidden in the trees. A load of uh, flies on the windscreen. I had that for a while, haven't I? No. some more houses in. After 300 yards, turn right, Ashwell Street. Then, you have reached your destination. It is on your left. You'll turn right and then it's... Yeah. Turn right, Ashwell Street, then you've reached your destination. It is on your left. Um. Oh, that's handy. What the hell am I supposed to do there? It's a bit narrow. Please. Get around there. Brief, this is 
ridiculous. There's a car coming. Well, I don't care. I'm just really worried about the getting the car past past those pollards here. That's what I'm wondering. I think it's gonna go over one of the pollards. Yeah, coming up one of the pollards. Wow. That's a bit evil. That is evil. Bashing in mirrors here. No car coming now. After 100 yards, you have reached your destination. It is on your left. No, it's pulling over. So if you come in here sometime in April, probably May, watch out for those roadworks, especially if you're towing something. It was a real struggle to get around there. Phew. Oh, here we are, nice and sunny. So they actually wanted to close that road then? Yeah, we well, still want to go, close it. How long for? Who knows? So what, go up this one? Or go around? Uh, I think you can go around, there's no... to where you can't go, is there? Got water, so Alison's at the water. Right, so let's go on this one here then. Or well, this one? Yeah, 25. The awning up fits quite well actually. Half of the awning is in use. Oh, finally stopped with the mower. But, uh, yeah, it might be the last time we use this awning, quite possibly. Yes? Are you staying in there or are you coming out? Make your mind up. We're out here. So we're going to be sitting out here. Oh, come on. Go on, there you go. There's a lead. On your chair, come on, on your chair. Poppy, on your chair. I'm going right. there then, all right. Okay, oh, that's handy. <laughs> <laughs> Couple of things I realised I should have brought with me. <laughs> A bigger table. Yeah. And the awning carpet and ground sheet. I haven't got the sheet underneath. It has got a fitted ground sheet, this, uh, this one, but it's a bit thin. But uh, other than that, I'm doing pretty well. Now, I know I mentioned I was uh, cutting down on the beer as well. Well, Jenny found these, a le le leffer blonde, um, but they're 0%, so we're going to give that a go. I don't know how many, how many sugars are in it. 168 calories per 100 millilitres. Yeah, it's very sweet. Mm. Probably because they've uh, replaced the alcohols with more sugar. With more sugar, yeah. Mm. Quite pleasant, quite pleasant. Though. I think I think they've put the the extra sugar in there to give it that body that the uh, stronger lager has. Hmm.
to the Crooked Chimney. That's a pub we used to go to. The long arm and the short arm. Yeah, that's uh, all closed all boarded up, isn't it? Up, isn't it? Boarded up, that's a shame. It is Lemsford, isn't it? Yeah. Another one here on the right, on the left, left. rather. That's still open. here a number of times and we always said oh we should come here yes uh, you'll probably see why in a minute it's called the crooked chimney it's <laughs> <laughs> a vintage inn isn't it that's right they're always uh, got a dog friendly area yeah Of parking. Probably no one else in there, probably didn't no. need to book. No. Yeah, it's absolutely years, isn't it? It must be. Yeah. It must have been about 18 at the time. Yeah. film in here but we'll go in through the door. Oh. Oh. There Gents up these stairs. It's like a crooked house up there. Yeah. Another area in there, there's a dining area. The food was very good. Yeah, it was alright. Oh, it's horrible out here. <laughs> Drizzly and wet and cold. But yeah. Really strange old building there.
Let's go on then, perhaps. Go for a walk. Yeah, you've got the dishwashing and you've got the toilets here, male toilets. reception here and the ladies toilets at the front yeah no one on the grass at the moment but it is open very sunny day today yeah yeah if you walk to the entrance if you turn right you can walk into the village when you turn left you've got some lovely walks across the fields up that way takes you across the fields and you can do a circular walk back into Ashwell if you go this way come on Pop, we'll go this way come on come on we're going this way Poppy decides which way she wants to go sometimes yeah if you go that way and turn right I'll take you into the village and you, there is another walk you can go straight across main road there and up Ashwell Street and that will again take you into the village. Yeah, it's a lovely little site Ashwell. I do like it. It's probably one of the smaller sites on the network on the uh, Moto Caravan and Motone Club network. But yeah very nice. So they have opened up the grass pitches so people will be using those presumably at the weekend. The only thing I would say is that uh, building a lot of houses around here, understandably people want to sort of live in a lovely area like this, but we have, it has become surrounded by, uh, by houses. Fortunately, you can get into the fields up that way. I probably can't see it for the sun, but yeah, up that way. Fortunately, they finished the roadworks they were doing when we came in here, so that's a bonus. Okay, we'll take you for the walk we usually do with Poppy. We'll go across here. And houses on either side here as well. Quite a big estate there. Up. Beautiful cottages here. Anyway, walk down here. There is a bit of walking along the road here, but uh, it's okay. And it brings you out into the village, just by the three tons. Yeah, so it brings you out via the War Memorial on Station Road. If you turn right there, and uh, the campsite's just up here on the left. Yeah, I think they've finished. Anyway, here's the. Well, today's Tuesday. Uh, we had a lovely day out yesterday. We went to St Albans, and we actually went into the St Albans Cathedral. Um, we explored the Auburn Way, which is a, ra a railway that's been turned into a walking and cycling route that goes from Hatfield to St Albans. And uh, yeah, I had a great day. Today we're going to explore the Royston Heritage Trail. These will be in separate videos, so do watch out for those. And if you enjoyed this video, remember to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything and it really helps. So see you soon. Bye then. Now approaching Nastide Holt. 
next stop will be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have your tickets ready for inspection, please. Oh, this looks lovely. So, so it was so overgrown to start with. Yeah. So wow. Yeah, so this is the old platform then. It's all there is of Hill End Station, isn't there? Just a yeah. the platform. About halfway up Hollywood Hill. Three quarters of the way. All right, three quarters of the way up. You get to the cathedral. Beautiful building it is. 